Here we are at the Old Town Hill system. That may very well have been the tide coming in. This is like some part of the Parker River, Little River system. I'll have to look at it more carefully and provide a final opinion. Ah, there's a raptor somewhere. There it goes. It's an eagle, I think. <laughs> Hawk, anyway. Probably an eagle. Eagle noise. This really isn't the camera for watching the thing, but it's useful enough. It's trying to get up to soaring point. There it is, I see a little speck. <laughs> Love those things. Oh, it's coming right overhead. Jeez, thanks, Mr. Eagle. I don't know if I got you. Jeez. Yeah, see, I could do that too. There he goes. I don't know if I'm doing a very good job of following him. But... Hey, he's there. It's a presence. <laughs> See the sun going through his wings. So here we are at Old Town Hill. As soon as we arrive, Mr. Raptor announces his presence, puts on a soaring show for the tourist. And this will take us south to our eventual meeting with Rowley. <clears throat> That's where we came from, where the little bridges over there. This is where we're going. It's, let's play with maps. So I came all the way from Joppa Flats, went through the utterly charming Spencer Pierce Little Farm, some street stuff, Hay Street, Green Street, a little bit of Boston Street, then came through one trustee of reservations parcel and now we're in another one, the Old Town Hill Reserve. We're right here. And there you have the extensive marshland. I'm just entering a kind of newly mowed field zone. Exploring momentarily after one of my typical breaks in the upper atmosphere. Probably the jet stream is combing the clouds into this fabulous cirrus stuff, all like angel hair in the celestial regions. Heck of a day. Waiting all summer for this. So we came from back there. Big old field, newly mown. And we're heading here. Probably to soon enter some wooded tracts. 
and eventually return to Route 1A for a significant haul to Raleigh. And there we look fondly back at the way to Joppa Flats and Plum Island. You'll run into this first initial trailhead, but don't get too excited. It ends up, if you don't want to go to the top of Old Hill, this is what you want. Old Town Hill. But if you are up for viewing the firmament while you just skirt the edge of this magnificent old field, all freshly mowed, and you'll find a trailhead over here. And I can already see a little white base circuit blaze. Or maybe it's a patch of light on a tree. <laughs> but I have a feeling this is it. Well, wait, wait a minute. What's this? Posted keep out. Blah, 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 go away. Okay, so this ain't it. Or is it? Maybe that's just an ancient sign. Doesn't look too contemporary. Well, time to examine the map again. Looks like we have a strange vernacular memorial to someone who must have hiked here a lot and died. There's even a pooch. Strange. I'm trying to figure out where the trail is. This is somewhere generally near it. It's a matter of finding the way up the hill. I was premature. I've been on Adam's Path Trail. In my zeal to immerse myself in the place, I jumped off Newman Road, Newman Street, one trail too soon after crossing the first river. But as it turns out, with some careful multiple re-examinations of the map, this thing will connect me to the Bay Circuit before long, and actually it's a more pleasant way to go through the whole thing than walking down Newman Road. So hey, <laughs> it's lemonade time, <laughs> and it tastes pretty good actually. We'll check in later. Nice upland tracks. I've been seeing lots of pig nut everywhere and lots of evidence of pig nut gnawing. So if I should come into more of that, I'll attempt to draw our attention to it. I did indeed jump the gun. <laughs> and here's the proof. I was indeed on the Adams Path Trail, pasture trail or something, it goes through a pasture. And it has a boardwalk, but this is like the most interesting little funny boardwalk I've run into yet. It combines elements of bridging, it's quite sturdy. And then it heads through this way. Heavens, it's impressive. Pretty funny. And it's bridging a wetland area. It kind of looks like it's got elements of salt marsh. It's funny to think that salt water penetrates this far with the tides, but it probably does. Yeah, it is rising tide. 
That's funny. You can tell it doesn't really flow like water running downhill. It kind of seeps inexorably in. That's cool. <laughs> that alone is a substantial reason why this is such an interesting area as if you needed many. Oh yeah, look at all the fish and stuff. Lord. They're zipping around down there, probably tolerant of brackish water. Although maybe up here all the tide does is push fresh water around. Who knows? And there's a bunch of cool kind of miniature little cat and nine tails. <laughs> That's hilarious. Nice. All right. Trustees of reservation. Triumphant once more. <laughs> Another disturbed chipmunk. Sorry. And having crossed that now, it looks like we're heading towards some kind of prominence. See if I can't get myself up on this hill, figure out where the base circuit went, and take it from there. Probably in for some wheezing. The last fond look back at the most charming boardwalk I've run into in quite a while. While I'm mainly here for the living world, I do get a charge out of the various cool things that people strive to build. <laughs> 